Hello there, good evening. This is Sky News at 9. You're watching the press preview, a first look at what's on the front pages as they arrive. In the next half hour, we'll see what's making tomorrow's headlines with the Tory activist Sean Bailey and The Guardian's legal correspondent, Afwa Hirsch. Welcome to both of you. Good to see Thank you. Very you. good evening. Uh, first of all, though, let's uh, catch up on tonight's top stories. Coming in, The Guardian is just in. It's just a... Uh, See what they're going on. There we are. Reveal the full picture of Ryan's sentences. This is an exclusive, they say. Let me just uh, take a cl closer look at that uh, with you, if I can. Um, they say that uh, the courts are handing down prison sentences to convicted rioters that are on average 25 percent longer than normal, according to an exclusive Guardian analysis of 1,000 riot-related cases dealt with so far by magistrates. The data proves for the first time that the handful of high-profile individual cases, including the four-year sentence we remember for those Facebook inciters, are indicative of a more punitive general trend. Um, what's your view on this one? I well, suppose legal correspondent, you might be... A, <laughs> I, do, I, I feel really strongly about this, and I, I, I think that political interfering in the criminal justice system is always very dangerous. Um, it goes to the absolute heart of our constitution that the judiciary is meant to be separate from the executive and that the courts must be independent. Now, obviously, they don't operate in a vacuum and judges and magistrates, just like everyone else, have been affected by the events um, of recent weeks. But, I mean, the most immediate impact of this is that the appeal court is just going to be clogged up. All these people are going to appeal their sentences and appeal court judges tend to be a bit more removed from the political and public hysteria when they look at these sentences. And actually, we need to think about long-term confidence in the criminal justice system. But I think it that's where this comes from. It is completely disproportionate to sentence that's where it, someone to four no, years. But this is where it comes from offense. because people have no um, respect or trust in the criminal justice system, they think it's broken. That's why these judges who are in, who are not in this bubble, are, are reacting to the public. I don't know how much, you know, politicians have interfered, but I tell you what, the public have driven this feeling. The, the thing about the riots is, the public felt in danger. They felt under attack, and now they're reacting. I had a conversation with my young people today. If you if you live on benefits and we pay all of your bills, what have you got to lose? And my young people actually came down a little bit harder than the court, to my surprise. I think it is disproportionate to take away someone's home because you're not setting another problem off. But I think this reaction is not so much about politics and more about public an anger. If you read even more of these uh, statistics, actually, they're even stronger. If I just uh, carry on reading, The Guardian's data shows that 56 defendants of the 80 who have already been sentenced by magistrates were given immediate prison terms. This 70% rate of imprisonment compares with a normal rate of just 2% in magistrates' courts. And I mean, I think we need to remember what getting a prison sentence means. And a lot mm. of these people are first-time offenders. A lot of them are young people. We do not have a good record in this country of people sentenced to jail coming out in a better position than they went in. Actually, reoffending rates are extremely high. And the question needs to be asked, even if we all want the same things, which is to prevent this from happening again, to punish people who did commit serious offences, is sending them to jail really the answer? I haven't seen anything that convinces me that it is. And I used to work in courts in these criminal cases, You're and, it, and right, it frequently I, fails people. I, I, I fully accept that we, we warehouse, particularly young people, we, we have a massive um, teenage prison population, but this still doesn't answer the question that the public wants answered. Because in professional spheres, we don't see the judiciary as, as a mechanism for punishment. The public absolutely do. And that 2% figure makes them feel like this this mm. harsh reaction is justified because beforehand people are walking away scot-free. But people free. have said, oh, I was missing about on Facebook, I didn't really mean to in incite a riot. They'll know next time, if there is a next time, that they shouldn't do that. But that's, so that's, therefore it is working that, as a deterrent that, that, to many, many that's people. That's what the public would say. I don't know. I, I still feel we could step back slightly from this elevated position we've got to. But I do believe this is in the context of our judiciary system, as far as the public are concerned, mm. being very weak. I think a lot of questions need to be asked about the assumption that these sentences will be a deterrent. You know, the concept of deterrence is a very complicated one. And it's simply not the case that people, when they commit offences, are necessarily affected by previous sentences that have been handed down. And there are two different elements. One is the deterrent, and the other is actually making an example of someone. And in this country, we have, we have a very strong constitution that regards everyone as an individual and everyone as having individual rights. And actually, if you use one person and their whole future to set an example to somebody else, you're not treating them as an individual with their own rights. You're just using them as an object to send a message to others. I think that's really problematic. Yeah. Um, and, and the deterrent issue issue is not one that, that, that's really been resolved. Yeah, OK, there's other stories as well. We'll maybe come back to that one if uh, some of the papers uh, go on it. But to obviously an exclusive as far as the, uh, the Guardian is concerned, saying it has unprecedented access to national court. Well, coming up on...